On tonight's episode, two innocent children will face their most primal fears, haunted by mysteries from beyond the grave. Ancient secrets that should never have been unearthed, tormented souls wandering between realities. Turn off the lights and enjoy this chilling tale. Welcome to another dimension. Welcome to Midnight Scenes. And welcome back to Midnight Scenes! It's been a little while since I played one of these games. I think I last played episode 2 back in 2018, so it's been about three years. But this third episode has just been released, and this is called The Nanny. Much like the previous two, this is going to be a short horror story inspired by The Twilight Zone. And I really hope you enjoy it. If you want to play it for yourselves, look down below in the description. The links and the details are all going to be down there. And thank you very much to Octavi Navarro for giving me a key. Then here we go. This is the nanny. Alright, so October 1986. Don't really know what's going to be happening in this one. I don't know the theme, I don't know the premise. But I guess it's got something to do with a nanny. Uh, Tina says, Good morning, my name's John Wilson. Good morning. Wait a second, I'm John Wilson. What are you talking about? You must be a double. A double? Are you crazy? Doubles don't exist. Really? Then how'd you explain this? Oh no, you're a doppelganger. My evil double, aren't you? Are you here to kill me and steal my identity? I don't want to die so young. Ah! <laughs> Are you coming to say goodbye to mum and dad? I'm busy, Tina says. Okay. Alright, we've got dialogue choices in this one. Um. <laughs> well, they're going to be away for three days. Won't you miss them? Why should I? They're leaving me alone with you and that silly Veronica for three days. I hate them. Veronica's nice. I like her. That's because you don't have any personality. <laughs> Oof. Uh, what are you playing, anyway? <sighs> I still can't believe they bought me another identical Benny for my birthday. They don't care about me at all. They don't even rem they don't even remember which toys they already gave me. Eh, uh, bit of a shame, I suppose. Aren't two Bettys better than... Ah, well, yeah, can I have one of them? <laughs> bit cheeky, but... No way! I'd rather keep playing this stupid doppelganger thing for the rest of my life. Wonderful. Okay. Ah, right, we're in control. Right, uh, let's see. We've got the clock up here. Okay. Nearly 3 p.m. by the looks of it. <laughs> or nearly 3 a.m., I don't know. Looks like we can go to the garden. Uh, we can mess around with the painting, the lamp, sofa, TV. We can go upstairs. Oh. Oh, hang on. Was that Veronica there? Oh yeah, that's Veronica. And she says, don't worry. If anything comes up, I'll call you right away. Have a great trip. The bay's beautiful this time of year. Wish we were going for pleasure, not work. We should go. The plane leaves in three hours, and we might hit some traffic. Bye, kids. Be good, and don't push Veronica too hard. Hmm. Bye, Mum. Bye, Dad. And off Oliver goes. Okay. Right, so... She's the nanny. Well, here we are. We still have a couple of hours until dinner time. What would you like to do? Uh, watch TV or paint? Let's say... Watch TV. Yeah. The Amazing Jesse Marks is about to start. I love that show. Of course you do. TV is entertainment for dumb kids. <laughs> My sister's just wonderful, isn't she? Uh, well, let's paint then. Yeah. I like to paint trucks that explode and... Your drawings are boring. You paint like a little baby. That's not true. Hmm. Tina, don't talk to your brother like that. It's Christina. Only my family calls me Tina. I've taken care of you so many times. Don't you consider me family yet? Pfft. Don't be ridiculous. Well, Oliver, looks like your sister's in a mood today. Yeah, definitely. Maybe she wants to tell us what to do. Alright. Let's go to the forest, she says. The forest? On the other side of the lake. 
Uh, alright. It's super cool, apparently, and very pretty. Yeah. We go there some afternoons with Mum and Dad. We cross the lake with the boat and have a picnic sometimes. Can we go, please? That way I can look for my toy truck. I lost it in the clearing the other day. Okay, fine. Just for an hour, and then we come back. Yay! You pick up the oars. Sure. Alright. And uh, off they go to the garden. The oars? Well, are they going to be out here somewhere? Uh, possibly. Oh yeah, okay. There they are. Right. Uh-huh. Inventory slots? Let's see. What was that? The rope? Oh yeah, okay. We take the rope. And we take the oars. Got them. Yep, wonderful. All right. So let's see. Should we go back inside? Uh, the tree branch? The Jordan's trees are invading our garden. <laughs> Can we use the rope on it or something? No? Okay. Got a hole in the fence here. Sparkle hasn't come to eat in days. Hmm. There's the bowl down there. Right. Uh, well, let's see if we can catch up with my sister and the, uh, and the babysitter. To the pier, that's right. Alright, there's the boat. Where are they? Oh, right. <laughs> Somehow I beat them there. Do either of you know how to row? I've never piloted a boat. Leave it to the professionals, my sister says. But it's safe, right? Don't be afraid. There are no monsters in the lake or anything like that. Just sit next to me and take my hand. Ugh. Get in the boat, lovebirds. <laughs> Maybe I fancy the babysitter. I don't know. Uh, right. Into the boat. Oh, we need to install the oars first. Okay, so is it a drag and drop thing? Seems like it, yeah. All aboard! Okay. To the other side of the lake, to the forest. Hmm. Okay. I like this so far. Uh, so, let's see. The tree paintings? What are the tree paintings? Can I go see the tree paintings? Did I tell you they're like a billion years old? Really? Wow! I'll look for my truck too. It can't be far. Okay, you can go, but don't walk too far away. I don't want to lose sight of you. Okay. Uh, well, let's just leave them for a while and, and see what we can find then, yeah? Looks like I won't be climbing any trees. <laughs> uh, alright, yeah. To the forest? Okay, let's go to the forest. I think I'm already out of uh, line of sight, quite honestly. Got a chocolate bar here. Okay. People are so inconsiderate. You not gonna pick it up? No? <laughs> okay, there's a crow up here. One over there as well. Um, what's this? Ah, these are the drawings that are like a billion years old. Interesting, okay. Another crow? Oh. A little bit concerning that it's got my name in its eye. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, that, that doesn't bode too well for me. There's another drawing here. Okay. Uh, same kind of theme, I suppose? Up and down? Hmm. More crows? <laughs> Does one of them have Tina's name or Veronica's name in their eye? No. Got a tree stump here. Okay. Uh, they say if you count the rings, you can read their age. So according to this, this tree was about three years old. Okay. Uh... No toy truck, nothing like that. No drawings either, so let's go back. What's that? Bones. Oh boy. Okay. It wouldn't be Sparkle, would it? Can't seem to examine it any further. So let's... let's go back. Can't examine that drawing either. Right, um... We're gonna go even deeper into the forest. I don't know if this is such a good idea, but... You know, it's a horror game. <laughs> I'm gonna make some bad decisions, aren't I? Uh, I got a squirrel here. Okay. Is that squirrel eating a finger? A thumb, I think. You have no comment on that? Apparently not. No, okay. Enjoy your meal, I guess. What about the rock? Uh, okay. Hmm. Aside from that, 
Nothing much to see. Uh, let's just keep on going, shall we? We've got more crows up here. Okay, it, it's just my name that I've seen so far. Oh no, what's this? We've got like a, a bundle of sticks up here. Like a, a stick man. Okay. Yeah, I think I've wandered off a little bit too far, and yet I keep going further. Mum never lets me play this far from the clearing. My truck must be around here somewhere. Well, if, if she never lets you play this far, then why would it be here? Oh, I guess it could be, right? I guess it could be. What about this crow? Okay, that one. We're seeing more and more crows the deeper I get. I'm gonna get lost here, aren't I? Right. Oh, hang on, there's something there, on the rock. Is that it? Here you are. Who put you there? Huh. Oh, yeah, that's my toy truck. It's like it's out there on display. Someone left it there for me, I think. Oh? Tina? Uh, hey, Oliver, come here. There's something I want to show you. Tina? Hmm. What are you doing here? Yeah, what are you doing here? No, 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 I wouldn't follow... Okay, I, I don't have a choice here. I've got to follow her. That doppelganger thing? Yeah. Right. That's Tina right there. So many squirrels in this forest. I think I just followed my sister's double. Oh dear. Yeah, so many squirrels in this forest. One time they ate a kid from town from head to toe. Huh. Only his bones remained. Oh boy. I'm not lying. It was on the news. That's creepy. By the way, where's your brother? I told him not to walk too far away. Don't ask me. I'm not the babysitter. Good point, I suppose. <laughs> Oliver! Uh-huh. Well, keep heading in that direction. You'll find him. Okay. Wow. All right. Creepy. Oliver! What's wrong? It's like he's transfixed on this image. What the hell is that? The forest is full of paintings like that. Dad says there's this magical aura from the tribes that lived in the woods. It keeps the paintings bright. This one, though. I haven't seen it before. It certainly looks recent. So creepy. You didn't paint it to scare passers-by, did you? How would I have painted it? It's like 20 feet tall! <laughs> he hasn't moved yet, has he? He hasn't talked since. Uh, yeah. Come on. It's time we go back home. I don't like this place. It gives me the creeps. Come, Oliver. Let's go. Oliver? What's up with him? Oh. Oliver! Okay. What's, what's happening? Is he alright? No idea. Come on. Help me get him to the boat. Now, is that Oliver, or is that Oliver's double? Is that his doppelganger? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know who's real at this point. Who's the, who's the original? Who's the double? Anyway, Veronica says, Thank God you're back. How are you feeling? Uh, let's see then. Uh, what happened? A blood sugar drop, probably. Here, eat this chocolate. Okay. <laughs> it's good. Hazelnut's my favourite. Really? Mine too. Hey, are you sure you're okay? Maybe I should call the doctor. Uh, I don't know if I'm fine. I don't know if I'm me. How long was I unconscious? You've been in and out for about ten minutes. Okay. You scared us to death. And Tina? Where's she? In her room, I think. I wonder what she wanted to show me. What do you mean? In the woods. She told me to follow her. I tried, but she walked too fast. Hmm. Then I found that strange drawing on the rock. It really impressed you, huh? I don't know. I guess. Come on. Rest up while I eat dinner. Hmm. The lasagna I brought will surely bring you back to life. Well, let's hope so. Alright, weird. I like the premise, yeah. Hmm. 
I wonder if this Veronica is the original Veronica. Now, I'm just very suspicious of everyone right now. Anyway, whoever this is says, Looks like dinner did wonders. I like that happy rosy face. Now rest, little prince. Have sweet dreams. Don't listen to her. What? Tina. She's always mean, but I think you're cool. Oh, thank you very much. I think you're cool too. I really enjoy taking care of you both, you know? You're very interesting kids. Hey, do you want me to show you my collection of cards? It's from the Midnight Zombies TV series. Sure, I'd love that. Yeah, she seems like a cool older sister, doesn't she? Uh, <laughs> this is... <laughs> This one is the biggest and scariest zombie of the family, but he's always nice to the living. Okay. Oh, the next card? Yeah. Who's this? The baby zombie? Don't be fooled. Even though it's a baby, this one has super sharp teeth. Hungry zombie? This one's the most evil. She devours brains. A zombie pet as well. Is that what Sparkle looked like? And this is my favourite. Isn't she cute? What a fantastic collection! I love it! Hope you don't dream of brain-eating zombies tonight. Get some rest, Oliver. Good night. Night. And away she goes. Yeah, okay. Hell. Oh. oh, what's going on? It's the rock again. Is that blood? Oliver. Oh, I think it's calling me. Okay. I take it I wasn't just dreaming that, too. Uh, Tina asks, Oliver! Hey, Oliver! Are you awake? Well, I am now. Uh, Tina, what's wrong? It's Veronica. She's gone. Huh. She left us. Okay. She's downstairs. I hear the TV. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Why don't you go down and check it out? I'm telling you. I saw her from my window. She was walking towards the pier. She must be meeting her boyfriend secretly, when she should be here taking care of us, like that other time. Hmm. I think you made that up. Yeah. You just don't like her. You never liked Veronica, that's right. I didn't make it up. That boyfriend of hers jumped over to our garden to be with her. Hmm. I saw them kissing. You. <laughs> but this time I have my camera. I'll take pictures. Okay. Come on. Let's see if we can spy on them from the window. Sounds like a plan, I suppose. See something? The boat's missing. Right. We've gone to the other side of the lake. How romantic. How? She doesn't know how to steer the boat. More proof that she's with her boyfriend. Hmm, potentially. I wonder if it might be something a little worse than that. I can see a light in the forest, but nothing more. Dad has the old binoculars in his office. And yeah. <laughs> of course, I'm the protagonist, right? You want me to go get them. I have to keep watching in case they come back. Yeah, it's my job. Come on. They must be on his desk or in a drawer. Or maybe in the closet. <sighs> okay. Uh, so this is my room. And it looks like I can't just go back to bed. What's this poster of? Looking forward to the premiere of Galaxy of Cats Part 2, apparently. Can I look out the window? Uh, the garden's full of crows. I've never seen so many. Check their eyeballs. Are they all saying your name? <laughs> what else we got here? Some walkie-talkies too. I'm eager to try out my new walkie-talkies. Take them then. Okay, maybe later. Okay, right. Let's uh, let's see if we can get to my dad's office, right? Uh, Tina's room, right? I better not go into Tina's room if I want to stay alive. That is, if that is Tina in there. Maybe the double came back. Maybe there was some sort of confusion in the forest. I, I really don't know. Okay, so downstairs... Oh, right. Okay, so this, this is Dad's office over here. Is there a... Okay. The lights are on. Uh, Dad would be mad if he found out I'd been snooping around his office. But uh, nevertheless, let's take a look. We've got some trophies up here. Alright. 
1975. Could be important, might be like a password or something, you know, could be for like a combination lock. Uh, let's have a look at the drawer. Okay. Well, I got a small key. Post-it notes, I think. Dog tags? I wonder if Dad killed someone in the war. Maybe I'll ask him when he comes back. That's going to be an interesting conversation. Uh, okay, let's head back. The, the phone? Hmm. I shouldn't be here, but... Go on. Who is it? H Hello? Who? Who is it? It's not that painting from the forest, is it? Hmm. Veronica, please come back. Where did you leave us? I don't know. Can't open those drawers. Uh, the closet? Okay. Oh, it's locked. Hold on, hold on. There you go. Right, uh, there's a shoebox here. What's inside? There's a photograph. Alright. Uh, these are from when I was born. I like Veronica, but Miss Marquez was a super cool nanny. She had this eye patch, like Blackbeard. Right. I miss her. Is that lipstick there? I think so. She never would have left us. Yeah, I think that's uh, that's like a kiss, isn't it? Hmm. Playing away, were you, Dad? That's me, my sister. Hmm. Okay. Right. Right. Uh, let's let's head back. Oh, here they are. Right. Along with a, a condom, which I'm kind of confused about. What is this? What's this? It's so squishy. <laughs> right, take the binoculars, leave the baseball, and leave the squishy things. Um, nothing else? Right, let's just head back. Yeah, let's, uh, let's go back to my room. Yeah, she's certainly not down there, is she? I, I can't see her from here, anyway. Okay, it looks like she's staring out the window. Can't seem to use it. Ah, I see. Finally! Come on, give me the binoculars. No way! I got them. It's my turn to look. Damn right. There you go. Stand up for yourself, kid. Alright, let's see. To the right? Yeah, loads and loads of crows. Like one on every tree, it looks like. Hmm, okay. They're probably cawing, but from over here I can't hear them. A little bit further to the left. Mm. Did my sister say that she saw a light? I don't see anything. This might just be a ruse. I don't know. Oh, no, no. There she is. I see Veronica. Yeah, with a flashlight. She's alone and looks confused. Hey, wait. She stole my flashlight. <laughs> Come on, let's go to the pier. Maybe we can see what's going on from there. Uh, well, we can't leave the house at night. Mum and Dad will find out, yeah. <laughs> I like this kid. Okay, I'll go alone. Oh, I don't know if that's such a good idea either. But I'd lock myself in the bedroom if I was you. No? You know the goblin in the attic likes to hunt at night, and I won't be here to protect you. Shut up! So, are you coming? Yes. <laughs> that convinced me. Great. Get dressed and grab your walkie-talkies. We might need them in case we lose track of each other. Right. But we're not going to, are we? Of course not. It's just a precaution. Yeah, just a precaution. <sighs> okay. I'll get the walkie-talkies. Oh, there they are. Uh, right. Out we go. Or do we... Okay, I'm going to put on something warm. Oh, okay, we do it automatically. Nice, okay, so... There she is. Can I... Can I really not go in Tina's room? I... I'm just very suspicious of everyone right now. Even me. I'm not entirely sure if I'm the Oliver that we started with. I probably am, but right, let's just go downstairs. Okay, I have the walkie-talkies. Great, let's go to the pier. Alright, off we go. Yeah, no TV for me, not right now. Quite late, isn't it? Okay, to the garden. Okay. 
Yeah, there's one of the crows. What's up with this tree branch? Just seems a little bit peculiar that it's there. I can't throw the toy truck at the crow or something, can I? Let's see. No. <laughs> Alright, to the pier. Let's see if we can keep up with her. There you go. What's this on the side of the pier? That was there before, wasn't it? Okay, it's impossible to see anything from here. They've taken the boat to the other shore. We'll have to walk around the lake on foot. What's this down here, though? Uh, yeah, what? Go through the woods at night? Are you crazy? Come on, we almost have them. I don't know if there's a them. I think she's just there alone. I, I don't like it when you get bossy like this. Why does everything have to be done your way? Well, I don't like dragging along a whining, crying baby either. Oof. So we both have to put up with it. Damn, sis. Okay, I'm sorry. Sometimes you're not such a crybaby. Hmm. What? Yeah, what now? There's something floating in the water. Yeah, what is that? Obviously, it's not the boat, unfortunately. It looks like a bag. Oh, it's Veronica's bag. Uh, are you sure? Yes, see? It has Piero's the cat's face on it. It's hers. Did she drop it? Hmm. We'll never reach it from here. Uh, oh, find me something long to get it with. Right, can I just, like, lasso it or something? There you go. No, that doesn't work. Hmm. It might... Okay, we've got, we've got pruners down here. Nothing else to find. I think I know what I need to do with the pruners. Right. Yeah, the uh, the branch was a little bit peculiar, but now I think I understand. Nice. Strong kid. That was a thick branch. Anyway, this'll do. Right, so with that, she should be able to reach it, right? I really don't trust these crows. Okay, so the branch. Try this. There you go. Oh no, that's a little bit too... Oh shit. Uh, Tina! Are you okay? It, it's very cold. I bet it is. Something's wrapped around my leg. I can't get out. Tina, what do I do? Hey, hey, calm down. Everything will be fine. Come on, throw me something to hold on to. Right, well this might be where the rope comes in then. I bet it's tie the rope somewhere. Ah, okay, uh... There we go, the bollard there. That seems to work. Right. There you go. Now go find help. Okay. Uh, Mrs. Jordan is awake. I saw a light in her window. Come on, go. I'll be fine. Don't worry. Just hurry up, okay? Here, take one of the walkie-talkies. That way, I'll know you're okay. Good idea. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, he's a lot more than a whining, crying baby, isn't he? Right, um, so... To, to the garden, I suppose. Find help. Mrs. Jordan's house. Okay. Quick. Yeah. Uh, do I go through the hole, possibly? I don't know if I go that way, to be honest. Let's try the hole. So, oh, it's about sparkle again. Okay. Um, can I just give her a call? Oh, the battery's very low. Uh, maybe I'll only give her a call when I need to. Back inside the house again. Hmm, okay. Well, let's just keep on going, shall we? Straight through- oh, the, the door's locked. Okay. Ah, oh, but hold on, hold on. Got some keys here. Hopefully one of them's for the front door. Let's have a look. Yep. There you go. Okay. Right. So, over here then, I suppose? I better call Tina. Yeah. Yeah. Good idea. Good idea. Alright, so let's see. Um, uh, Tina, are you still there? Yes. I'm freezing, though. Have you found help? I'm on it. Okay. Oh, dear. Got some crows... Going through some blood on the floor. I hope that's not Sparkle. Yeah, me too. Okay, let's just keep on going. 
So this is the place, right? Let's see. Knock on the door. Oh, the, the doorbell. Okay. <laughs> I love the little interactions in this game. It's really quite well made. Okay. Oliver! What are you doing here? Is everything alright? Mrs. Jordan, I need help. Our babysitter was staying with us, but she left us. And we went looking for her. And... Okay. Okay. Breathe. Come on in. It's cold outside. Okay. Let's see then. Uh, okay. Slow down. What happened? Uh, but... Uh, right. This is the more pertinent one. Tina fell into the lake. Off the pier. Oh my god. Is she okay? Yes, but she can't get out of the water. She needs help. And where are your parents? They're out. They left us with the babysitter, but she abandoned us. Okay. I'll run to the pier to help. Nice. Uh, what just happened there? Power cut? Y your sister. What? Did I miss something there? You stay here and attend Thomas in case he needs anything. Okay. We're just going to ignore what just happened? I, I guess so. You know he requires special attention. Do I? Okay. Uh, he's in his room. Keep an eye on him, will you? All right. Mrs. Jordan says, I'll be right back. And off she goes. Okay. Thomas? Upstairs? Let's see. Let's stay on this floor. Let's just have a little bit of an explore. Let's see what we can examine. There's a phone over here. I like the bubblegum colour. So original! Are you going to use it to call someone? Okay. Got a bottle down here too. Peach juice! Yummy! <laughs> ah, so naive. I love it. I also love the look of this game. What with, you know, it curving at the top and the bottom and the the stuff that you see at the very left and the right. It's, it's really cool. It's like I'm playing this in an old CRT. Uh, hello? Thomas? Oh, all right. Oliver, what are you doing here? Tina's in trouble. Your mum went to help her. Really? I thought one was taking a bath upstairs. Huh. Okay. Maybe she is. Anyway, sorry. Sometimes my medication makes me confused. Is Tina okay? Not really, no. She fell in the lake and she can't get out. Seriously? Seriously. Well, don't worry. Mum's very strong. She'll pull her out of the water. I hope so. Come on, she'll be fine. I swear though, I thought Mum was chilling in the bathroom. I hate this medication. How do you feel? Physically or mentally? Uh, physically? I can't take two steps without gasping for air. Not great then. <laughs> Other than that, I feel wonderful. And uh, what about mentally? Well, it's only been two months since Dad died. It's been hard, and Mum makes me go to therapy with a super boring lady. Uh, okay. Rough. Can I ask you something that I never asked you before? You don't have to answer if you don't want to. Of course. Ask away. Uh, the illness or about how your dad died. Lovely subjects of conversation. Uh, yeah, you never told me about how your dad died. I don't know. Mum never talks about it. One day he got a call from the doctor and suddenly he stopped talking to us. He spent the rest of his days crying and sleeping. I'm sorry. I'm sure he loved you very much. I don't know. He changed a lot. Oh dear. Okay, what about your illness? Are you going to- <laughs> Fucking hell, Oliver. Are you going to die soon? I'd be very lonely. You're my best friend at school. No. Oh. Yeah, no idea. Mum always makes plans for the future. But I think she does it just to cheer me up. Her words are happy, but her face is sad. But I don't care too much about it. I'm not afraid of dying. Really? I'll go back to the same dark, tranquil place where I was before I was born. I like that idea. Okay. Well, that's something, I guess. Anyway, let's stop talking about sad things. Yeah, please. God, this is bringing me down. <laughs> Look, I want to show you something. It's super cool. All right, super cool is my thing. A Ouija board? Oh, man, this can only get better. 
I found it in Mum's closet. I think she uses it to talk to Dad. Come on. Who do you want to contact? Um, no one? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't want to contact anyone. These things. I, I, I don't like them. Come on, there must be someone you miss. Your grandparents? They're still alive. Really? How boring. <laughs> Come on, give me a name. Uh, okay. I want to contact... Elvis, my dog. Oh, my old nanny. Miss Marquez, yeah. She lived in this house before you moved in. Interesting. She was great. She had one eye missing and wore an eye patch like a pirate. One day, she suddenly disappeared. Mum told us she went to live on her family's farm in Colorado. But Tina says she saw an ambulance and the police. We think something horrible happened to her. Mothers lie, you know. They do it to protect us, but they lie. We're going to contact your old babysitter. If she died in this house, her presence will be super strong. Okay. But it's gonna be super cool! <laughs> I'll see! Uh, I don't know. Come on, this is fun! Here, put your hand on this triangle thing. It's called a planchette. Okay... No. I don't want to do this, Thomas, but I don't think I've got much of a choice. Here we go. Now I'll add my hand. That way we join our energies. Now close your eyes. Do you have them closed? Nope, because I need to read, but yep. <laughs> Good. Now focus on your old babysitter's image. I found this picture of her in my father's office. Do you think it might help? Are you kidding? It would help a lot. Let me see. Yeah, there she is. It's super cool. She really looks like a pirate. Hmm. This picture will attract her spirit. Come on, put it next to the board. Yeah, do it, Oliver. Do it. Let's start, Thomas says. I don't know if I like this. Relax. We can stop it whenever we want. Can we? We simply say goodbye to the spirit and she'll leave without a trace. Or at least, that's the idea. Ready? Mmm. Ready as I'll ever be. Oh. I. M. N, I think? I am N. You're moving it! It's not me! It's your nanny's spirit! I am N O T. I'm not. I. Uh. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Do you have a leak? Oh. Oh, okay, I, I, I thought it was going to be Thomas, to be honest, but no, that it's apparently coming from the bathroom. It's right above us. Maybe Mum left the tap running. Don't get up. I'm going to take a look. Wait here. Right, okay. Yeah, I really thought that was Thomas. I thought he was bleeding, to be honest. I thought he was done for. Okay. So it's going to be this one up here, right? Yeah, the light's on and everything. I do wonder if she's going to be up here. Have a look, come on. Oh, she's there. She's there. So I, I think I was talking with the, the doppelganger. Right. That's it. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's right. Mrs. Jordan, but how? I don't get it. If this is Mrs. Jordan, who's with Tina? That's a very good point, actually. She's probably in a lot of trouble. Tina? Tina, are you there? That Mrs. Jordan is not the real Mrs. Jordan. Mrs. Jordan's dead. There's blood everywhere. Tina, do you hear me? Nothing. I'm not getting anything. Oh dear. I, I, I have to go to the pier quickly. Okay. Wow. Okay, right. Leave. Just go. Oh, Thomas, right. Uh, Oliver, what is it? I heard you screaming. Um was the bathtub. Yeah, uh, d just stay there. Don't go upstairs, okay? Why? What happened? Was it an open tap? Let's just ignore that. Let's just go downstairs. Let's go to the pier. Listen to me. I have to find Tina. You stay here and call the police. Do what I tell you. The, the police? 
Because of an open tap? Just do it, and tell them to come fast. But, Oliver... Ah, uh, no, I haven't got time to stick around and explain it. Ah, oh, poor kid! What's the police's phone number? Oh boy. <laughs> well, let's hope he figures it out. Uh, okay. Come on, Oliver! You might want to start running now! The, the crows dragged something off by the looks of it. This is reminding me a lot of the, uh, what is it, the Us film? Or Them? One of those. I can't remember which is which, actually, but, uh, okay. Let's just go straight back out to the garden, straight back to the pier, and hopefully Tina's okay? Hopefully I don't see her, like, drowned or something. Hopefully she's out of the water, but hopefully she made an escape before Mrs. Jordan got there. Or the person purporting to be Mrs. Jordan, her clone, her doppelganger. Okay, she's not there, which is maybe good. Tina! Oh no, she's gone. What's that down there? It wasn't there before, was it? Oh. Okay, we've got... Footprints. That bare footprints. No comment? No comment. Okay. There are footprints leading to the path that borders the lake. Has Mrs. Jordan's double taken Tina into the woods? But why? I have to go find her. Yeah, you do. Yes, you do. This is really good. I think this is my favourite episode so far. Probably the most complex as well. Okay. Tina? Veronica? Well, we're not here. This is the little sort of camp area from before, wasn't it? My flashlight! Yeah. What happened to Veronica? Oh dear. Right. Easy. Easy! If I get closer, it'll bite me. It's a very ravenous squirrel, isn't it? Trying to eat the flashlight. Right. Uh, still can't use that. Toy truck. Here, have fun. Oh, that works? <laughs> I was expecting to have to pick up a stone or a rock or... I don't know. <laughs> okay, the squirrel might be ravenous, but he really wants to play with the toy truck. So, uh, can I take the flashlight? The batteries still work, too. Right. Let's have a little look, shall we? Maybe I can find my babysitter, maybe I can find my sister. Or maybe I can find Mrs. Jordan. Oh. Wait, is that Tina? Tina! Thank goodness I found you! Uh, are you okay? I... Uh, Mrs. Jordan had a double... I... I don't know if this is Tina. Mrs. Jordan has a double. Yeah. She murdered the real Mrs. Jordan and then came for you. This is horrible. Come with me, Oliver. Ah, uh, no, this is the double again. It's gotta be. Where are you going? Tina? Uh, I've got a choice this time. So maybe I could go back? But I'm not going to. I'm gonna... I'm gonna see this through. If that's the double... I don't know, maybe I can find the original. Oh! <laughs> that actually did get me. What was that? Tina, where are you? That was Veronica, wasn't it? Like, a ghost of Veronica? Right. Going ever deeper into the forest. Past all these paintings, these drawings, and endless crows. Right. Let's just ignore them. Let's see if we can follow my sister back to... Back to you. Back to her. Ah, oh, that's Veronica, right? Veronica! Oh my god! What's happening? Nothing good. Nope. Oh. oh wow! Again, that got me. Even in a 2D game like this. I mean, I'm kind of impressed. Is that how it ends? My little Oliver, it's time for bed. May I sing you a lullaby? Is that my old nanny saying that? I saw the eye patch. Oh. Oh, the police are here. I guess Thomas figured out the number. Is that my mum and dad? Hmm. Okay, Detective Taylor says, Don't worry, we'll find them. Even if we have to turn the world upside down. I've never seen anything like it. 
Two children kidnapped? The neighbor brutally murdered in her bathtub? The babysitter missing? What the hell happened here tonight? Detective, we found Veronica Turner, the babysitter, in the woods. She's dead. Any clues on the kids? Well, actually, there's something else, but you better see it with your own eyes. Okay. What's this something else, I wonder? Oh. Alright. We've got police tape around something or other. I guess it's where the body was found. Yeah, there's the big rock. There she is. There's Veronica. God, poor girl. Look at her wounds. It looks like a wild animal attack. A wild animal doesn't murder people in their bathtubs or kidnap children, though. If you think that's strange, you haven't seen it all yet. Take a look at the rock. I wish I could. <laughs> what am I supposed to see here? Agent, point the light at the painting. What the hell? Oh. So she was the nanny? That's Miss Marquez? With Tina? And me? Even in death, she wanted to look after us. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Okay, I guess that's gonna wrap up the episode. Poor Oliver. Poor Tina. We might never know what happened to them. But don't fret. Something tells me Detective Taylor won't rest until she finds an answer. For now, it's a secret between the two siblings and the creature of the forest. Thank you very much for enjoying this new chapter of Midnight Scenes with us. Remember to shut your windows and lock your doors tight before bed. Creatures of the night are lurking. Good night and sweet dreams. There you go. That was Midnight Scenes Episode 3. Midnight Scenes The Nanny. I really enjoyed that, and hopefully you did as well. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments, like or dislike the video. Yeah, much like the previous two, this was like a bite-sized Twilight Zone episode with a, a really engaging story. I really actually got into it. I liked the characters. I, I really liked how Oliver interacted with various things that he found. He's so naive, but he wants to be brave. He wants to do the right thing. Uh, I like how a lot of the events were foreshadowed, like my sister playing with the dolls, we saw the paintings on the trees. I wasn't expecting that giant painting to be of my nanny, though. And that was an ending that I, I didn't see coming. Yeah. I really enjoyed this. Yeah. And, uh, I hope to enjoy many more. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Veronica's nice. I like her. That's because you don't have any personality. <laughs> Oof. Where are they? Oh, right. <laughs> Somehow I beat them there. A little bit concerning that it's got my name in its eye. We're gonna go even deeper into the forest. I don't know if this is such a good idea, but... You know, it's a horror game. <laughs> I'm gonna make some bad decisions, aren't I? Is that squirrel eating a finger? Wow, alright. What's up with him? Oh. Is that Oliver, or is that Oliver's double? Is that his doppelganger? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know who's real at this point. <laughs> of course, I'm the protagonist, right? You want me to go get them. I wonder if Dad killed someone in the war. Maybe I'll ask him when he comes back. That's gonna be an interesting conversation. What's this? It's so squishy. <laughs> you know the goblin in the attic likes to hunt at night, and I won't be here to protect you. Shut up! So, are you coming? Yes. <laughs> that convinced me. Oh no, that's a little bit too... Oh shit. I'll run to the pier to help. Nice. Uh... What just happened there? Power cut? I thought one was taking a bath upstairs. Huh. Okay. Maybe she is. Anyway. Are you going to- fucking hell, Oliver. Are you going to die soon? Anyway, let's stop talking about sad things. Yeah, please. God, this is bringing me down. <laughs> Look, I want to show you something. It's super cool. Alright, super cool's my thing. A Ouija board? Oh man, this can only get better. Uh, okay. Oh, she's there. 
If that's the double, I don't know, maybe I can find the original. <laughs> oh! <laughs> that actually did get me. What's happening? Nothing good. Nope. Oh! Oh wow! 